Like, look at him. Hello. Hey guys. What's up guys? Hey guys. Hope everybody's been doing well. Uh, got another one today. Uh, this one is called Five Scary Videos Even Paranormal Experts Fear by Goose Pimples. Uh, as with all the videos, they're all recorded live at uh, twitch.tv slash Clock Studios. We do them with some, uh, some other people watching and talking and kind of watching it together. It's a good fun time. But anyway, here's that video. Uh, if you don't mind, uh, if you wouldn't mind maybe dropping a sub, maybe a like. I'd very much appreciate it. Uh, it'd be very kind of you. And uh, if not, no big deal either. Hope you enjoy the video, and uh, here you go. All right, this is a video by Goose Pimples. Five scary videos even paranormal experts fear. Hopefully we find something here that scares us, you know, a lot or something. Number five, Family Matters. If you thought the Paranormal Activity franchise was frightening, wait until you watch the brutal supernatural events that have been plaguing this poor Brazilian family. It all started when they suffered an unspeakable tragedy, losing one of their own at the hands of a merciless intruder. But, as they would soon realize, their departed brother may not have crossed over to the other side just yet. And boy, does he have some unfinished business. The fear has been palpable ever since, especially in the bathroom, where their sibling took his last breath. All right, a true let's go. paranormal hotspot which let's now serves as a portal to the unknown. The echoes of terror still linger within its walls, mainly affecting the boy's sister, who claims to feel unseen hands clasping at her flesh when she's in the shower. Ugh. Priests have failed and fled from the malevolent the force that haunts the it was place. Weird to me. And as the family desperately searches for answers, their last hope is to seek the help of this team of paranormal investigators. But the horrors that lie ahead are beyond comprehension. So hold on to your seat and get ready for this burst I'm of the guy's fury. I'm in. I'm holding in. Que seu irmão morreu aqui nessa casa. Vamos tirar a vida dele dentro de um banheiro. Tem como mostrar onde foi esse banheiro? Esse aqui, né? Ele já começou. What is that voice? Respira fundo, respira fundo, calma. Ó, ele só quer assustar, entendeu? Só quer te deixar desequilibrado, entendeu? Quer fazer com que a gente fique assustado, entendeu? Nervoso. Respira fundo, fica calmo, entendeu? Pense em Deus, pense em coisas boas, tá bom? Tá bom, respira fundo. Isso, calma. Viu? Ele só quer tentar assustar a gente. What is that só voice, que though? Faz um desequilibrado, só isso, that... Tá certo? Você tem condição de continuar? É... Porque é importante. Oh, it's, it's modified então, audio for her. Pronto. É, me mostra como foi que o seu irmão. Because passou. she's mosaicked out. So the... Calma, calma. Calma, calma. Pera. So they're using a voice changer on her as well. Calma, fica calma. I think. Uh, that was a little creepy. <laughs> I, I mean, if that happened to me, if I, I'd be pretty creeped out, to be honest. Like if I saw a mirror shatter in front of my face, that's kind of creepy. Oh, touch it. You're gonna cut your friggin' hand, dude. Out, and then look at his hand every time. Did I cut myself? Did I cut myself? Did I cut myself? Respira, respira, respira. Oh, vai ficar tudo bem, tá? Pense em coisas boas, coisas positivas, né? Foca em Deus. Olha, olha, olha para mim, olha para mim, olha para mim, né? Pense em coisas boas, tá bom? Foca, olha, não, olha para mim, olha para mim, ó. Respira fundo, respira fundo, respira. Respira, pense em Deus, o quanto Deus é maravilhoso, o quanto Deus é poderoso, entende? Nesses momentos a gente tem que focar e se concentrar. Vai, senta aqui, ó. Vem. The scariest part is that audio that they're, like, changing on her voice. Oh my God. Oh. Olha, olha pra mim. Calma, calma, respira, 
Não é precisa. Uh, não filma mais ela não, vai para ali, vai, vou conversar com ela. Olha, pensa em, coisa, em coisas boas, pensa em Deus, tá? Well, hang tight, Madhouse, we'll figure it out. After all these violent happenings, the girl clearly panicking had to be taken outside to calm down while the group conducted a seance. That was that the mirror breaking was is really weird. I don't bathroom, like that. Until this happened and they lost their cameraman. A gente já viu várias manifestações. É, eu queria deixar claro para vocês, pessoal, que esses fenômenos são conhecidos como poltergeist, pessoal. De um espírito obsessor, muito conturbado, descontrolado, muito revoltado mesmo. E a gente vem aqui, né, Vitor? Né, Humildemente, pedir para vocês, pessoal, não julgar. Não julgar, pessoal, porque muitas vezes isso pode estar acontecendo na sua casa, na sua cozinha todas as noites, e você não percebe. Para para pensar. As noites, os, pra, os pratos se mexendo, as coisas acontecendo. Por isso a gente vem pedir, pessoal, pra vocês não julgar, viu? Eu me desespero, né, amigo? Mas eu tô, é, eu tô chorando. Chorando, ela teve que sair, ela eu saiu às pressas daqui. Bem melhor, pessoal, ela sai. Tá aí, gente, ó. Aí, aí é pra, pra vocês verem, né? Ó. I mean, that's pretty tá forceful. If, 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 no, if no one did that, that's creepy. According to them, the air was thick with negativity, and the urge to vomit washed over them like a tidal wave. Thankfully, one of them is a first aider, so they all left the place for a couple of hours to ensure the cameraman was safe and sound before they made another attempt to conduct the seance. But as soon as they started, Things took a turn for the worse. Watch. Provavelmente, Marcos, eu sei que você tá aqui. Sei que você tá vendo aqui. Why is this guy on the table with the candles around him? Pra zumbar de você ou algo assim parecido. A gente quer um contato. Humildemente, meu irmão tá aqui pra tentar ter um contato com você. Então você pode se aproximar da gente. Né? Pode tentar conversar com a gente, entendeu? Pode tentar manter uma faixa mental junto com a gente. Se aproximar também do aparelho, se você se sentir à vontade. E uma coisa eu te peço. Né? Tente se comunicar com a gente, porque a gente tá querendo... They're gonna openly sacrifice this man. A gente sabe como foi que você desencarnou aqui de uma maneira violenta. E a gente sabe que você é desequilibrado, realmente você é, né? Você tá agredindo a gente, entende? Então, se concentra, né? Se aproxime. A gente vai emanar energia para você e tente se comunicar com a gente ou em toque ou em conversa, né, ou em energia, mas tente se comunicar com a gente, beleza? A gente não sabe nem. Né? Ever notice like if you watch a lot of these things, which I watch a lot of these things, that it, it seems like no matter what language you you can speak, like you know, a lot of it's in English, but if you're speaking in Spanish or uh, I don't know, Hindu or anything, it's like you can communicate It's like, do, do they just, they can communicate in any language at that point? Is that how that works? Like, do you think there's ever a language barrier? Like it wanted to talk, but doesn't know what you're saying. I, I, I wonder those things, you know what I mean? Because I, I can't speak other languages really, you know? So if I was like the ghost, I'd be like, I don't know what you're saying, dude. I think about these things. If you want to materialize on top of my friend, just go for it. No, no, no braço do Paulo, na perna dele, no pescoço do Paulo, né? Vai, Paulo. Fica à vontade. Se concentra. Try to grab his neck. Tenta pegar choke o pescoço do Paulo. Try to choke him out. Meu Deus do céu. Aqui. Olha, olha, Paulo. Meu Deus. Piado. Você não vai assustar a gente. I mean, I don't Deus know. É poderoso. Deus é maior que você. Você não, não é maior que Deus. Você não é maior que Deus. Você não é maior que Deus. Deus é muito maior que você. Você não vai assustar a gente. It's pretty forceful. Você não vai assustar a gente. Kind of creepy. I don't know. If I saw it, I'd freak out. I, I wouldn't like that at all. Me tremendo todinho, cara. Olha isso. Filma isso, câmera. Tô me tremendo todinho. I mean, it's not like they're. Quebrou tudo, ó. It's not like they're in their Mostra house, aqui, you know what I mean, to Mostra, set up. Vem, vem, mostra. Ó, quebrou Open tudo, these things gente. up. Ó. Open them up. One thing that makes this activity more compelling is the fact that they were pretty quick to show us that there are no mechanisms yeah, attached to the drawers. And there's no way a string could achieve that violence. There's a bug in there. 
especially when the drawers are clearly heavy and hard to move. Yeah, I was going to say that's... What do you think of all these creepy events? I saw paint coming off. haunted by their past or some level special effects? Let us know in the comment section. And I, don't forget to subscribe to their that's YouTube channel. That's pretty good. I, I like that. That was pretty creepy. Like this. Number four, Feng Shui. Is, is show the other side of the wall and the dude pulling the wooden dowels from behind. Dude, see, that's, that's what sucks about this kind of stuff is that like, I want to believe so bad. Like, I just want to be like, dude, that was incredible. You know what I mean? But you're right. Like, there's no way to ever really, you don't know. And that sucks. And that sucks so bad because you're right. Like they could have gone there and they could have set something up with wooden dowels and somebody could have been pushing the things like that could have happened. You're right. A hundred percent. But damn, they never fully pulled the drawers out. Right. It is creepy though. And like, I, I, I want to believe it's real. I want, I want to believe that I'm not being lied to. I want to. Um, we'll keep going here. Oh, it is smudging. We're setting something up to possibly have Madhouse give me a smudging because I think I have something attached to me. So I, I, we have to, I want to get this kind of cleared up here. I think I might have a, may have an attachment. <laughs> All right, sorry, I'll continue. Skateboard Chris has been living in a haunted house for Skateboard a few Chris. years now, and the footage he has been capturing <laughs> on camera Chris. is nothing short of fascinating. One night he was in for some chill time off work, chill only time. to realize that he wasn't in fact the only one kicking back for the evening. Chill time with Skateboard Chris. A little weird. Of course, after this strange event, he started monitoring his security cameras, as there was a lot more to understand what exactly was going on inside It's weird because it's in a but cozy. every new footage he captured, he seemed to get more questions than answers. Oh my god. Holy hell. What? This video was taken when his family visited, but it's safe to say they weren't planning a sleepover after seeing that. The activity began to scare him more and more as it became less predictable. His security cameras captured strange happenings all the time, but what he really wanted was to actually see it with his own eyes and capture the moment with his phone. But every time he tried, his phone would freak out. That's when he thought of buying a GoPro. Like, I don't understand like the point sometimes though, because <clears throat> like there's some stuff I'd watch that I would say was like, oh my gosh, like I, I think like this, they're at a haunted place, like or a very evil, demonic-y kind of place. Like this shit's scary, but it's more like interactive and more direct. Like this whole opening cabinet for no reason is stupid. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. And, and maybe I have no idea how ghosts work because I don't know how ghosts work. But at the end of the day, I, I think that it's like, why? Why are you opening a cabinet? For what reason? Like, it, it's a cabinet. Like, they, they, like, I like stuff that's more direct or purposeful or something more important than like, oh, the cabinet opened. You know what I mean? It needs to be more than that cabinet. I don't know. Because I just don't I, I don't, I don't see the point of it. I don't know. Who knows? And what a great call that was. No one knows. Because and that's what's what fun about this. It's because no one fucking knows. It's much harder to explain. Take a look. This is an oscillating camera. No. If someone's filming this area. Why, though? Like, why is someone standing here filming this exact area? Why the fuck is he taking a picture, bro? This is a video. Come on, now. Bro. Hey, 
I mean, it won't do anything. It's not. Phones can sometimes not that's, that's, that's not weird down, to me. As this one did here. <coughs> uh, it seems incredibly creepy that one after another, the security cameras backfired. Chris's phone started to break and stuff started moving from behind the closed glass doors. The footage Chris captured throughout the years that's seems creepy. pretty genuine to us. But what do you think? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to follow Skateboard Chris on TikTok for more creepy footage like this. Number 3 overstayed welcome. Throughout the years, the Taboo Paranormal team fearlessly ventured into countless haunted locations at stupid o'clock with zero regrets. At stupid well, o'clock? that was until they were followed by what they believed to be a haunting presence, which is now taking over their own home. They realized that the occult was not to be messed with when their once calm cat started freaking out around a supposedly haunted mirror they found, in a desperate attempt to understand what they were dealing with. They conducted a Ouija board session, okay. but it turned out to be a big mistake because the chilling footage their cameras captured later that night left them shaking with fear. Take a look. Yeah, that camera, that that camera, I forget what they're called. They creep me out though. Bringing a haunted mirror inside their home was already bad news, but taking their fingers off the planned chat was probably the last straw. Probably a terrible idea. However, that was not the only weird thing their cameras captured that night. What you were saying about uh, some ghosts based in time loops uh, without resolution, could be habits of the ghost, things like that. That, I, I agree that that's a thing, and that's, a, that's something that does happen in places for sure, but it's like, it's common, it happens a lot. Like, if this person's cabinet door opened one time and one time only, not multiple times at almost the same time every day, or if there's no actual reoccurring loop to it, it just does it once, it's kind of like, you know what I mean? That That's, to me, is, that's where I start to think, like, why would it just open once? Like, it's weird, you know? After reviewing a picture they had taken hours earlier, and with a bit of brightening, they saw something that sent a chill down their spines. What? What? I can't, I can't see If this anything. is not pareidolia, there must be some sort of humanoid face with long sharp teeth prowling around behind them. You've got to be fucking kidding me but if you're seeing anything. this like, wasn't creepy enough. I am not seeing shit and I normally can see things. And a few like, nights I later, find it. they also managed to capture this. That's weird. I'm gonna end soon. I think that's that's weird. So much for a restful night of sleep. All these strange happenings seemed to confirm their claims. Something decided to follow them home from their haunted expeditions. Or could it all just be a product of some good old entertainment? Neither their about page, video <sighs> description, nor disclaimers mentioned for entertainment purposes only. So we assume they claim it all to be genuine. But is it really? Let us like, know your thoughts. I, I think my only issue I'd have with this is that there's no it's not that it's an issue it's just they didn't have like a reason why are we filming why are we filming you guys sleeping and then filming this corner in your house like why are we filming this corner of your house and you sleeping it's like are we filming this corner because you're staging something to happen there and then you're filming yourself sleeping so that we're tricked into thinking that you're no one's there like that's where i'm that's where i start to get a little weird with it you know what i mean like why this corner it's that's it's it's weird probably to try to prove it's not them showing shit right throwing shit and i mean it just it's not that i don't want to believe it's not real it's not that i don't want to it's just it seems like it's set up 
for me to let, like, it seems like if I were to set this up, I, I would try to think to do the exact same thing. Like put a camera on me so that people could see that I'm sleeping at the same time that this is happening. Somebody else might be doing it, but you can't see it because this camera is randomly shooting into nothing. You know what I mean? Now the glass moving and the sound effects are weird. I don't know why the glass started rocking on its own, but then something getting thrown into the scene. That's weird. Like that, that's where it's like, why? Why were you shooting there? Did you know something was going to get thrown into the scene? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Thoughts in the comment section. I don't know. To see more spooky clips like these, subscribe to Taboo Paranormal on YouTube. But being that they are investigators themselves, it looks like they have a good YouTube channel with, you know, and they do this stuff all the time. Why, why would they, guess, fake it? You know what I mean? If, if they're always filming, if they're out there, I don't know anything about their channel, but I, I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, why do they have a piece of broken glass just sitting there also? that That's, ex again, yeah. Like, there's little tiny things that, like, I start, to, I start to think about where I'm like, you have to break it down to, like, your life and what you're doing in that day. And you have to question yourself, like, okay, if this were to happen to me, could it happen to me? Well, no, because there's not a camera filming me sleeping and a camera shooting somewhere randomly in my house. Those, those two things aren't happening, for one. Two, there would never be a piece of broken glass sitting on a fucking table. You know, like in my house, like it would never be like that. So I, that's why it's hard to, you know. Number two, Ready Freddy. Ready Cheesy Freddy. house guests can either be the best part of your day or a living nightmare. For these ladies in South Wales, it's the latter. For a while, they were experiencing yes, we strange yes. happenings in their home, but they each thought it was the other playing tricks. That was until they were all home at the same time, and they caught this. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? She, oh my god. Look at her. I mean, Look she was genuinely that. scared. I'll give her that. On the ceiling. Right in front of me. Oh, the door, the, the door, door, the door, the door. Look oh, at that. Man. The door's never done that, ever. Ever. Wow. Oh my god. What was that? Jamie. Yeah. What? What was that? That was us. We shut the door, love. Right? Yeah, we shut it. Your door shut myself. Yeah, bathroom windows open. Send a video on Discord? Okay. It is. The bathroom windows open. It's just the wind. Look at that. Look at that picture move. Back wow. back the camera, whoa, please. Whoa. whoa. Uh, back up farther. I want to see the sides. I want to see what's on the left and right of this room. Steady, Freddy. As you can see, there is nothing, nothing at all on that picture. Yeah, and I, I don't believe that they would put a hole in their wall and have somebody behind the wall doing that. Perhaps they're just because they're easy to move. You know the haunting has been going on for a while, if the spirit has a name. She goes right up to the wall, and it's clear there is nothing attached to the corners. So how the hell is it swinging back and forth like that? Either these ladies are extremely handy with fishing wire, or something is crashing their all girls party. Found a scary video you'd like us to feature? Send us the link on Facebook, Twitter, See, or Instagram. I like how YT. they at least also say don't that. Like to subscribe and click the maybe they're handy with fishing wire. Like it's one of those things where I don't, that, she, she seemed genuinely Number scared one, right in the beginning though when that, when that cabin opened. If you've ever wished for the confidence to investigate an abandoned building, take some notes from this guy, because he seems thrilled to be doing it. While investigating a seemingly abandoned building, Mr. Fitry clocks that he might not be the only thing stirring up chaos at stupid o'clock. Allah 
I don't know what's happening. What? What? What happened? <laughs> what? Dude's a rapper. Ah 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 but if the doors opening on their own and cabinets scraping along the floor wasn't enough, he also seems to start flying off the handle, quite literally. Gran satu, dua, tiga, empat. Allah akbar, Allah akbar, Allah akbar. Wush, again, went to me. Real quick. This is why I have issues with a lot of stuff. Because like credible channels, like whether they're, you know, TV shows or the YouTube shows, but credible like ghost adventure, whatever videos that are that are out there, ghost team videos that, you know, they get invited to go to like a very haunted place, right? They get invited to go there. They get locked into the place, things like that. And there's 100% like no one else is in the building with them at all. It's just the team going in there. It's done more, a lot more professionally, yada, yada, yada. And you know no one else is there. Even on, on those videos, they never, for years and years and years and years, have caught shit just going and flying and smashing around like that. Like, and you know what I mean? It, but, but like this, I'm not, I don't want to say it's not real. I, I just want to say like, there's no back, there's no professionalism. Like, okay, a guy's exploring a, a building. That's what we know. Okay. We have zero idea if anybody's in there. There's no proof that no one else is in this building, in that hallway, throwing shit to make it do that. You have no clue. And, and just based on that, it's hard to, it's it's very hard to get into this shit. You know what I mean? It, it's, it's hard because of that. And, and I also believe that if you were in a building by yourself, like, I'm serious. If you went into a building by yourself exploring, looking for stuff, and that kind of shit happened, regardless of if it was a stranger that was there, like squatting that you didn't know about, and they started doing that, or if it was, a, you know, paranormal or whatever, no one is staying there and going to react that way. You are going to fucking leave. You are going to run. If that shit's real, you're out. No one's hanging out there, especially this guy yelling whatever, rapping at stuff. Like, it ain't happening. I don't know. Absolutely. Ah! Like, look at him. <laughs> no. Can't tell if he's trying to blend in or he's just gone oh out of cuckoo shop. Oh Can't tell if he's. Fuck this. Don't get unsatu. Do a little. Take a little. Oh, my oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, you hurt your back. Tell if he's trying to nah, blend this video is fucked. Just gone yeah, it's none of this is real. Shock. Perhaps it's time <laughs> to call it a day before anyone gets hurt. Too late. No idea what he's saying, but at this point, he carrying a gun. Is that a walkie-talkie or a gun? No, it's no a idea what he's saying, but at this point, <laughs> neither does he. It seems. Hey, have you watched this scary compilation right. full of creepy stuff caught on camera? All normal people drop kick doors. Next. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. I was worth it. That was hundred percent worth it. That fucking cracked Thanks me up. For watching. I never in a million Stay years in the dark. Never in a million years thought that I would have seen that happen. Oh my god. We're back. What an ending. Oh my god. I uh no part of me ever expected to see something as ridiculous as that. <laughs> but that was amusing, that was entertaining. I very much enjoyed it. 
Um, I put a link to the uh, video down in the description if anybody wants to see the original the Goose Pimples video, uh, you know, without my stupid face over it. <laughs> uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I very much enjoyed watching it, like I said. Uh, drop a sub, drop a like, very much appreciated. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Have a good one. See you.